Hey, welcome to Draft Academy. My name's Mike. In this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how you can build your Gatsby website. So let's say that you have a bunch of different files and folders and resources on your website, and now you want to serve it up on a web server, right? Well, how can we access all of those files? In other words, up until now, we've been testing our website on this local host development server. But what happens when you wanna take those files and put them up on a server of your own? Well, we can actually use a build command in order to build our Gatsby website. And so basically, we can execute a certain command and then Gatsby will go out and build all of our pages together into static pages that we can then copy and paste or FTP or whatever over onto our web server. So I'm just gonna show you how to do that really quick. So I just wanna CD into my directory. And once I'm inside of my project directory, I can run a simple command, which is just npm run build. And basically this is just gonna tell Gatsby like, hey, we wanna build our site. So I'm gonna click enter. And this is gonna go off and do a bunch of stuff. It's gonna build up our entire website. So once that's done building, I want to head over to my file tree. And you'll see here we have this folder called public. And this is where Gatsby spit out all of our static files. So inside of this public folder, I'm just gonna open it up and you'll notice that there's a bunch of files and there's a bunch of like JavaScript files in here and, and stuff like that. But basically this is our entire site. So there's actually a lot of these different files and that's kind of what it's gonna be like. But you'll also notice up here, we have like directory one and then there's this page three and page two and there's this static folder and this counter folder. So this is actually all of the resources that we need to include on our web server if we wanna run our site. So all I would have to do would be like copy and paste this stuff onto my web server and it would start working. Or you could serve up all of this stuff using like some sort of a deployment app like Netlify or something like that. But basically all you need to know is that this public folder has all the files that you need for your website. So anytime that you make a change to your website and you want to regenerate the files, you can actually just run that npm run build command again and it'll build all these files and it'll sort of like overwrite, overwrite the public folder and do everything that you need it to do inside of there. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe to Draft Academy to be the first to know when we release new content. Also, we're always looking to improve, so if you have any constructive criticism or questions or anything, leave a comment below. Finally, if you're enjoying Draft Academy and you wanna help us grow, head over to draftacademy.com forward slash contribute and invest in our future.